Alright, week two, season one, Lions cornerback against Seahawks. Here we go, baby. It's Madden NFL 24 on EA Sports. And coming up, we'll see David Montgomery. He really helped drive them a week ago with a three-touchdown game. It's the Lions and the Hawks just ahead on EA Sports. First open in 2002, there's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. And the Lions defense getting set to go fresh off a of victory in the season opener. Man who played collegiately over at East Lansing, it's Kenneth Walker the third. That's a pickup of 11 and a first down on their first offensive play. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Back to Walker on first down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays, and what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you missed out this really nice momentum, and now you're seeing the field really well. Smith, an incomplete pass on first down. Now it's second and 10. Gino now to throw. And this will be incomplete. You talk about this Lions defense. Currently number one in the NFL against the run. And that's a ranking that feels good, right? To be number one and be the top of your profession. But here's the problem. It's only week one. One week, yeah. Can they do it? No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. The Lions defense back out there. They lead 7-0. Trying to put a stop together here as this drive starts with a first down. Now Gino on first down. This complete to Lockett. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Pretty darn good, as you see right there on your screen. I'll echo that. Darn good. Two touchdowns, right? And the ability to be in sync with each other, right? To understand that he's going to be where the quarterback expects him to be when the ball is thrown. On second down, it's Walker. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Great pickup by Walker. It was the second back off the board in the 2022 draft. But he was first among rookies in carries, yards, and touchdowns, and was the rookie of the year runner up. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. And his throw here is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. No surprise at all. They're looking for the big man early in this one. The only surprise for them, he couldn't hang on to the pass. Throwing on third down, Smith. Left side complete to Lockett. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Smith now to throw. Returning right back to Lockett. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Seahawk football here to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten.
Walker now at first and 10. And he's brought down, but he has it down to the 12 on a pickup of 12, first and 10. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all, challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. Again, it's Walker. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who could do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, you know you don't want to make a mistake in that area, so you make sure you make a smart throw. Throw it out towards the sidelines. If you overshoot your guy, so be it. It's just the incompletion that we saw there. He'll spot Eskridge open left side. So no gain on the play. And that's going to make it fourth down. Excuse my snarkiness here, but isn't the idea of completing a pass supposed to mean you get downfield and gain yards? Especially on third down. Yeah, that The Detroit defense back onto the field. They just got the benefit of a beautiful punt a moment ago. So this offense backed up down by their own goal line to start this possession. They'll run with Walker to begin the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they gave up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down, that's what they talk about to us all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were after that run. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Here's second and ten. Out of the gun, Walker with it. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. No chance to get away there for Smith as he goes down. Levi Anzarike charging in and finishing off the sack. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks are starting. defense back out there. They've had the upper hand so far in this first half. On first down, it's Smith. He completes this to Walker. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Out of the gun, Smith. And it's a quick slant to lock it. Now the Seahawks call the second of their three timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. This one goes underneath to Walker. Now the Seahawks forced to use their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On second down, here's Smith. That's to the rookie Jackson Smith and Jigba. First down now, but the clock continues to move. To the air again, Smith. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gained from being in this room for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. 
And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton. And nothing comes of this last-ditch attempt at points as time... The Detroit defense back onto the field. They've been the dominant side so far, working with a two-score lead here in this third quarter as this next drive gets underway. Off of play action, here's Smith. Open man, that's Noah Fant, the tight end. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now, here's second and three. Up the middle they run, it's Walker. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. 54 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. Work to do here to avoid falling to one and one, but this is first and ten right now. Play action. It's Smith. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, that's a perfect example of how he was named NFC Defensive Player of the Week from last week's game. He is just all around the football right now, isn't it? That he is, and it's funny because I talked with the coaching staff about drills that they do in practice, and one of them is called matching hands. And as soon as that hand is launched by the quarterback, you throw up the opposite hand and match that hand with the QB, and oftentimes you're able to knock it away as we just saw there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and ten. Up the middle, here's Walker. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss on that play, and now third down gets tougher. Third and six. That's taken in by Eskridge, complete. And he'll go down to the ground at the 39, and obviously that's well short of the first. I guess they figure they got to start taking some chances. Here's a big one in this third quarter as he'll go for it on fourth down. They snap it to Smith. Pass complete. He's got Smith and Jigba. And he is going to have a Seahawks first down, and they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. From the red zone now, Smith. They'll lock it with a grab over the middle. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And that's going to bring up second down. Again, Smith. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Seahawks have cut it back within a score. Geno's going to throw. His throw incomplete. So unable to throw it in for two from the two. Let me ask you, as a former DB, what changes there around the goal line on a two-point conversion as far as how you're defending? defense back out there and they'll begin by trying to defend a first and 10 at the 25 yard line on first down Smith it's caught lock it give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down Lockett is a beacon of consistency for the Seahawks offense. His last four seasons, he's reached 1,000 yards, had at least eight touchdowns, and only once has he had more than two drops. Continues to be underrated, but not by defenses who have to face it. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Sticking with Walker on second down. Stop shy of the 45. 
Showed off a nice little move on the play, though. 65 yards on the ground for him so far. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now Gino. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what... The Detroit defense back onto the field. They've been terrific all game long, have not let this offense get on track. And they try to close this one out here in the fourth. Here's Walker to start the drive. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Yeah, another negative play in an early down situation. This one to start the drive. You're putting a lot of pressure on your quarterback to bail you out when you're in second and long yardage. Sticking with Walker on second down. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. And he'll be brought down shy of the first down marker at the 11. That'll be good for six, but now it's fourth down. And once again, leverage wins. The offensive line. The Lions defense back out there. They've put in a very good shift so far. This one pretty well in hand. On first and ten, Smith. And Walker has it. And on the 42-yard line here and brought down there. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Now a first down throw. It's Smith. Over the middle, finding Smith and Jimbo. It's another first down. I want to be a gain of 21 yards. Now Smith. And that's going to be caught. Dwayne Eskridge. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Smith throwing again. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. We're following the play here, now we've got an injury. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. Smith. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. Throwing on third down, Smith. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Lions will take over. So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions, and I think